Oh God, it got worse. As you can tell, I'm still desulfating. It's a week later. Batteries are getting pretty close now. Uh, I got two chargers now. I got this one here that does uh, six volt, ten amp. And I got the other one right there. That one does uh, six volt, fifteen amp. So uh, it puts out a little more juice. Uh, both of them are the old unregulated type, so they're just making the batteries chortle along. I don't know how well I can see this on camera. Maybe I need it. Hold on a sec. There, now you can see. They're bubbling quite well. This one not so much because it's on the lower one. But I also got Big Bertha here. This battery charger is great. It does. Look. See, it does 150 amp, 55 amp, 20 amp, and 2 amp, but it only does 12 volts, and it's a smart charger, which makes it a stupid charger because it will not charge the batteries properly. Now, I could put it on 55 amp, it'll last about 5 minutes, and then it turns off, and uh, that's useless, and the batteries need to keep charging, so I just got them on the trickle charge for now, um, but I figure another day or two. And uh, they should be ready. They're getting up into the green on the hydrometer. You can see here, there's the scale. They're just starting into the green, which is good. They don't have to go too far into the green. But uh, into the green would be good. They hadn't been there in a long time. And uh, took them off and put them just uh, to hook to the battery charger, but didn't turn the battery charger on. And they were reading at 13.8 volts, so, uh, I mean, that is somewhat of a surface charge, but that's good. That's really good. They haven't been that high in a long time. So, the next four, I hope to hook up to this guy first, and then uh, boost them up and get them a lot closer, because uh, a week per set of batteries is going to take, well, we got four more batteries, so three more weeks, or three weeks altogether, maybe even by the time it's all said and done so that might take a little too long so we'll see what happens here but uh, in the meantime just keep charging these and uh, hope for the best they're big ass batteries they take forever to charge you gotta actually add some water I added some which is good amazingly enough my shop doesn't freeze the water hasn't frozen those jugs yet which really surprises me but I guess when you're beneath the ground the earth is there, so I'm below the frost line, so I guess I get some natural heating in here. Anyways, till next time, peace.